Rottweiler tail docking alternatives, exploring options. Rottweilers are majestic and loyal companions. With their strong and muscular build and their distinct markings, it's no wonder this breed is so widely loved. However, one aspect of Rottweilers that has sparked controversy over the years is tail docking. In this video, we will explore alternative options to tail docking for Rottweilers, diving into the pros and cons of each. Tail docking is a practice that involves the removal of part or all of a dog's tail. Historically, it was believed to prevent tail injuries in working dogs and enhance their appearance. However, the modern consensus among veterinarians and animal welfare organizations is that tail docking is unnecessary and potentially harmful. One popular alternative to tail docking is letting the tail stay intact. When a Rottweiler's tail is allowed to remain, it serves as a crucial communication tool. Dogs communicate through body language, and their tails play a significant role in this. A full tail allows a Rottweiler to express their emotions clearly to other dogs and humans, leading to more effective interactions. Another option to consider is tail docking using a partial docking method. This technique involves retaining a portion of the tail while removing only a small part, such as a few vertebrae. Partial docking allows for the preservation of tail function while still addressing concerns over potential injuries and hygiene. Some argue that tail docking is necessary in certain working environments, such as search and rescue or police dogs. However, studies have shown that the risks of tail injuries in working dogs are minimal, and appropriate training and proper equipment can minimize these risks further. Therefore, tail docking cannot be justified solely based on the working nature of a Rottweiler. One essential factor to consider when discussing tail docking alternatives is the potential impact on the dog's overall well-being. It's crucial to prioritize the dog's welfare over aesthetics or traditional practices. Rottweilers, like any other breed, deserve to live a life free of unnecessary pain and discomfort. Opponents of tail docking also point out the potential complications and health risks associated with the procedure itself. Tail docking involves the removal of bone, cartilage, and tissue, which can lead to pain, swelling, infection, and even long-term nerve damage. These risks cannot be ignored and must be taken into account when making a decision regarding tail docking. In some countries, tail docking has already been banned, while in others, it is heavily regulated. Legislation plays a significant role in curbing the practice of tail docking, as it helps protect the welfare of dogs and ensures responsible breeding practices. It is encouraging to see a growing global trend towards banning tail docking altogether. Breeding practices also play a crucial role in tail docking alternatives. Responsible breeders who prioritize the health and well-being of Rottweilers are moving away from tail docking and opting for natural tails. Breeders can significantly contribute to the welfare of the breed by selecting for temperament, health, and soundness instead of focusing on arbitrary aesthetic standards. Rottweilers with natural tails not only benefit from improved communication abilities, but also from better overall balance and coordination. The tail serves as a counterbalance, helping the dog maintain control while running, swerving, or making sudden turns. This makes a considerable difference in agility and performance. In conclusion, there are several alternatives to tail docking that are worth exploring for Rottweilers. The decision to dock a Rottweiler's tail should be based on sound scientific evidence, prioritizing the dog's well-being and minimizing the potential risks associated with the procedure. Allowing the tail to stay intact or considering partial docking are viable options that preserve the dog's natural ability to communicate and move while addressing concerns over potential injuries and hygiene. Ultimately, it's essential to prioritize the welfare of our beloved Rottweilers over aesthetics or tradition.